welcome to the channel, my beautiful collective, my beautiful collective, my beautiful collective, beautiful butterflies and transformation just like me and my amazing spiritual initiates. Yes, yes, yes. I hope that y'all are feeling peaceful, productive, and prosperous. I hope that you're in your power and that you are living passionately from whatever your point of attraction may be. For those of you who are in positive, upbeat spaces. I'm wishing more of that for you. And for those of you who may be experiencing challenges, I'm going to remind you to focus on the positive things that are going on in your life. I am sure with the plenitude that my collective receives, there's plenty for you to focus on that is happening in the way that you want. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into this collective reading. And we're going to look at the shadows of... Uh, those shadows that you need to look at. We have the unknown, we have the exploring your feelings, and we have divine juggling. Now, the unknown was at the bottom of the deck, so let's go ahead and talk about this first, okay? The unknown has to do with you being comforted and being comfortable in the space where many of you are right now, okay? We talked about this in a live uh, a week and a half ago, which was deleted. Don't know why it happened. But being comfortable, being in a space where you can't quite see what's on the other side and you feel like you're lingering in the dark of sorts and you don't quite know when something is going to happen, if it's going to happen, uh, what is manifesting? What is it that you are creating? What is it that is being your your blessing? All right, what's coming in? What's what was it, what the divine is bringing in? This is a place that can be extremely challenging because we can't really predict. We don't really know. We can sense into it. We can allow the light from the heart to help us to get a feel for what's going on, but mostly when we're in this space, we have to trust. And many of you in this collective are in a space of the unknown at this time. You know that there's something that is right around the corner for you, but you might not be able to see it. And what I want you to remember is, we are always in the unknown, even when we think we know everything. Think of all the things that came out of left field in your life this last year that you could not have had any foresight regarding. There was no way for you to know. So even when we think we can see everything and we have all the pieces to the puzzle, you can't see anything anyway because you're not omnipotent. You're always in the unknown. It's just that we have this illusion that, and I feel like I saw the illusion, shedding illusions card. We, we have this illusion that we're in the know and we can see everything. And that is a deception because that's not reality. So accept, number one, that you are always in the unknown, period. Accept, number two, that the unknown is the ground state from where everything is created. It's an opportunity to go in an entirely new direction. It's an opportunity to be curious, to be hopeful. It's something really that should feel like a surprise. Okay, there's a surprise that is brewing for you. So get into the habit of really working with the shadow aspect of you that feels like you need to know everything and that you are actually controlling anything anyway. And focus your attention when you're in the unknown of creating and impacting the things that you do have on your plate at that time or the things that you've been guided to focus on. This is very interesting because this card has been showing up in my readings. And this is a place that I feel the majority of clients, people I work with, and even myself at times feel discomfort with. So you are in the known, okay, of the unknown. You know that being in the unknown is a place where you really always are, even though you may talk yourself into thinking that you are not. Surrender, look at that, curiosity and faith, uncertainty 
is the only certainty that there is. Just like change is the only thing that, you know, we say everything in this universe changes. You can always know that change is going to be that thing. Well, uncertainty is the one thing that you can be certain of. And the fact that change is always going to be there is the one thing that is just not going to ever change. You have divine juggling, mastering different aspects of yourself, both light and dark. And that's actually what we're just talking about. All right. Progress, inner harmony. Okay. Trusting that you are progressing. Okay. Bringing about and really kind of holding space for the inner harmony that happens in the darkness. It happens in the void. It happens within. It's the aspect that you cannot see. Being mindful that that inner harmony is what gives birth to the progress. Okay. It is what is going to allow you to bring about or to manifest things in your outer reality or in the external world. That inner harmony is very key. And if you can master that inner harmony, okay, that part of you that trusts, that part of you that has faith, that part of you that continues to move forward in spite of having all the answers, then the progress is guaranteed. And in the midst of doing that, know that you're actually progressing. And then we have exploring your feelings. Okay, delving into insecurities and unresolved emotions, authentic closure, peace. It's important to be real with yourself. It's important to really go within and to do that inner work and to ask yourself, what is it that is really bothering me at this time? And how much of what is bothering you actually has to do with limitations, okay, or thinking that is not constructive? What of it has to do with you buying into falsehoods that never materialize in the first place? Really explore your inner terrain and get to the bottom of what might be causing you to feel some sense of insecurity or instability or maybe not feeling good enough or maybe not feeling that you deserve something or doubting that something is on its way to you. Really examine that. Maybe it is a crack in your faith. Maybe you don't really believe that everything is always working out for good. Then what that means is you have to explore that and you have to look at ways in your life where you have proof that things didn't work out for the good or that you didn't get a major lesson from a situation or that something that didn't seem positive didn't actually lead you down the path to somewhere good. I would argue that you would probably have a hard time trying to come up with those things, okay? Bottom of the deck is mental contest. Control, power, repressed. Strength isn't from winning. Struggles define strengths. Struggles, trials, tribulations are what build you, okay? Uh, they are what help to birth fortitude. These are things that we have to welcome. You may have a goal in your life. You're trying to hit a target. You've aimed for something and maybe you're experiencing some sort of mental conflict. Maybe you're feeling doubtful. Maybe negative thinking is taking over you. Stay on track. Okay. Understand that anything that is worth having is worth working for. Stay true to yourself. I love this, uh, repressed. Uh, strength isn't from winning. Struggles define strengths because when everything is going your way, you're not really being honed. When everything is going your way and you're not being tested, you're on the other extreme, so to speak. You don't really have a reason to look within. You don't really have a reason to continue in the space of inner work, you're more in a stage of celebrating. You may definitely be in a place of gratitude, but trust me, you're not always going to be honing any new skills until something pops up in your life and gives you a reason to aim for more or to grow into another direction or to sharpen a particular set of skills that you have. All right. We're going into this uh, star oracle. 
And we have had three cards to fall out, four. So we're going to shuffle again and see what else wants to come up. We want one card. Give us one card from our beautiful spiritual initiates. These lovely, lovely souls who are mastering multiple aspects of themselves. Look at that. The journey through life. This is almost like the Six of Swords. This is the confirmation. Shout out to Natasha's here. And I can't think of you other beautiful women that were in the live some week, a uh, week and a half or so ago. You are in the in-between stage. You are in the unknown. And right now, your mind might be doing a job on you. Keep your eyes on the prize and stay focused because obstacles are being removed and you are on your way to something that is going to bring about a lot more growth, a lot more fulfillment, and a space where you're going to be able to expand, okay, and to take a rest of sorts. But being in this, this in-between stage of leaving something that is, has been difficult or has tried you or has challenged you in some way, you're not, some of you could still be in the throes of that, but most of you are, are in a space where it's starting to clear, but your physical reality has not caught up with that yet. That's why you got to play a serious mental game. That's why you still have to be shooting for the stars. You have to stay busy. You have to stay focused because you got to get to the other side. You got to also realize that what you're seeing right now is the delay of that previous period. That energy has to clear and it's clearing and you are moving. You are definitely moving, but that progress Okay, that progress is going to be dictated by you keeping your eye on the prize and continuing to remember what it is you were seeking in the first place and where it is you were actually already going. This mental contest can feel like an internal turmoil of doubt, of asking questions about this unknown space, of feelings of uncertainty, the inner critic going wild, the ego manifesting your worst fear. This is not where you need to be. You are being carried at this time. This six of swords kind of card, this card kind of has that energy, is a card that is to remind you that you're leaving one place headed to another, which means the boat is already moving. Okay, please step away from the door. This train has left the station. It is already happening. You need to face forward. The divine is guiding you into calmer, happier, more fulfilling, and intoxicating waters, things that feel good. You are making progress. You're on your way. So surrender. Enjoy the ride. If you worry about the waves and the wells underneath the water and don't realize that you're going to make it to the other side and it will have been worth it, then you're going to take the fun out of the journey. Okay, the journey of life has a lot of uncertainty, but it's important that you realize you have everything you need on this trip. It is all within and anything that needs to be provided externally is around you as well. It is on its way. You're almost to the other side, but you are in the midst of a major change. Look at that bottom of the deck, y'all. What in the world? changing circumstances and doesn't that look like the same person almost and all of these people don't look the same in this deck okay there's a change in circumstances which means something is about to happen in your life that you can't see please when you've done all that you can do just stand hold the vibrations hold the faith and put a muzzle on this okay Put a muzzle on anything that is not helping you to manifest your targets. Keep your eyes on your targets and don't be distracted. Major change in your circumstances. I want to read this message. This is card number three. And the journey through life is card 15, which is also six. All right, so let's look at this card and see if there's anything else that you might be needing to know at this time. 
Changes in circumstances can be quite traumatic because there's a lot of upheaval that has been going on that's trying to help manifest and fuel the change that you needed in your life. You needed this change in your life. You have to embrace this change in your life. Okay. But I know based upon what this is saying and based upon my life experience, that change is always traumatic. Nobody really wants to welcome the change, even though there's nothing else that is unchanging, except the fact that change will always be there. But this being in the unknown, trauma can cause you to feel like you're in the unknown. You're giving birth to something. Okay, look at this. The act of giving birth can be harrowing for everyone involved and especially the mother who is engaged in the labor of love, bringing a new life onto the planet. You are birthing something. You are going through labor pains. This is a labor of love. Do you understand? Okay, and what about the child that is being born that is coming through the birth canal and has gotten used to the warmth of that womb space that has gotten used to getting everything that it needs through an umbilical cord? That baby has to fight its way into the world. You understand what I'm saying? You may often view change as a positive force in your life, but when it occurs unexpectedly and is outside of your control, it can be frightening and unpleasant. If the change was something positive, once you get to the part of the journey where you can start to see the rainbow on the other side, you're going to start to get excited because now you got buy-in. Now you can actually see what's going on. But the challenge is to remain conscious when you're in the unknown and you can't see what's on the other side. You got to know that your next greatest level up is what's on the other side, baby. Your next best level up. So you are in the unknown. You are in the incubator. You are in the womb waiting to be born. And it isn't always a walk in the park, but I guarantee you after you had that baby and went through them labor pains and you thought you were never going to do it again, you probably looked at everything that you had and you thought, okay, I can deal with that. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, this change when the gods of order and chaos alternate between war and peace occurred in the space of a single day, a reminder of how fickle fate can be in your, um, in your ever changing life. All right. Uh, that looks like that's it. Fighting against change is a futile effort. Fighting against change is not going to give you a win. Because change is a necessary part of life and it ain't going nowhere. Let's take a look and see what message this Moonology deck has. It's a time for healing. Okay, take this time of being in the unknown and use it as an opportunity to heal. We already have talked about exploring your feelings around certain things, putting certain things to bed. If you're someone that always panics when you're in the unknown, it's time to really deal with that. It's time to sit with your life where it is right now and to take a deep breath and to feel grateful and to feel trusting and to know that the divine chosen one, the divine, has always got your back. And if you are a part of my collective, there has never been a challenge that has graced your doorsteps that was not a blessing, no matter how it came disguised. You are leveling up. You are getting better. You are becoming more spiritually refined. You are gathering more testimonials. You're on the other side of something. You know things now that you didn't know before. You're having to trust the divine now in ways that perhaps you didn't have to before. Trust that unknown and use this as a time to heal yourself. Use it as a time to go within, to, to get into a space of rest and repose. Okay, to gain your composure and to decide how you want to feel about the space that you might be in. Because when you want to get to the other side, you want to feel that you honored the journey. You don't want to feel like you cheated or took a shortcut and were ye of little faith. No, you don't. You're very close to achieving your goal. 
did it we had this card the other day in some reading i'm doing so many readings i can't keep track but didn't we have this card by the way if you're it if you've reached this part of the video and i'm only taking three if you've reached this part of the video and you're interested in a reading you can get one for 75 dollars, which is 50 percent off of my normal rate but that will only be until the last day of october 2024 if that is you, reach out to me, 678-438-6442, and mention this card. Mention this card. You're very close to achieving your goal, and you can get your 45-minute reading. Only three people, okay? Those of you who are staying with this video and are still here, be bold. Make the first move. Keep taking action. Maybe you already made the first move. This is a continuation of you hitting the goal you see this this is the target this person is aiming they know exactly what they want they know it, when you when you're done when you're doing this you can't be looking every other way you can't be getting distracted you have to keep focus on who you are what you're trying to accomplish and you have to feel capable that you can hit that target baby and you can hit that target you are so close baby you are so close be bold be confident. You got this. Okay. For some of you, a new romantic cycle is beginning because this is a part of your karmic justice. Maybe you've been through something. Maybe some of you are moving away from a relationship that you just have not been able to shake. Shout out to the beautiful sister on this channel who's been here for some years and is, is, is working her way through a relationship. This says a new romantic cycle begins. Maybe you are falling in love with yourself. Maybe you are falling in love with life. Maybe you are charting your progress. Maybe you're feeling more inner harmony at this time, but you are very close to achieving your goal. Just keep swimming. I love you. I love you. Ah! If you haven't purchased my Manifesting Your Masterpiece book, you can get it on Amazon. Love to all of the chosen ones and whatever the spiritual struggles are right now that you may be enduring or that you may be participating in or that you may be consciously moving through. I wish you all love, light, blessings, and I wish you more pearls of wisdom in whatever the level is of the spiritual initiation that you are going through at this time.